all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel folks make no mistake about it the seattle seahawks are only getting better folks i get it they lost guys like evan brown bobby wagner jordan brooks damian lewis drew Locke. you picked up jerome baker rashawn jenkins tyrell dodson a couple other players that we're going to talk about in today's video but folks you got your guy you got your new head coach in mike mcdonald and he got him long term because he's your damn head coach you know, he was the dc over in baltimore for the past couple of seasons and he did an exquisite job and folks when we you know we have to keep in mind this offense is still very lethal they got tyler lockett you got DK Metcalf, you got JSN coming off a rookie season, you got Zach Charbonnet coming off a rookie season. Obviously, you got Kenneth Walker the third and Mr. Geno Smith as your starting quarterback. Like offensively, they're still loaded. Now you still have so much playmaking, you have so much versatility. Zach Charbonnet and JSN had such underrecognized rookie seasons last year. And you know, Mike McDonald's got a roster to work with, but it all begins. And it all ends on the defensive side of things. And that's why you got your guy. You know, I think one year from now, we're going to be going back and looking at this year's last coaching cycle and thinking Mike McDonald to Seattle was one of, if not the biggest moves in the entire coaching class. Uh, folks, their defense is littered with talent littered with talent and i understand you lost bobby wagner coming off a career high what like 183 total tackles but they're going to be better long term they're going to be much more sustainable in the long run now you got a lot of these players like jerome baker for example on a one-year contract right you did re-sign leonard williams you have picked up rashawn jenkins at the safety spot but folks on paper this defense is loaded and we're going to talk about the seattle seahawks team in today's video but before we do if you guys enjoy it be sure to hit that like button hit that sub button for daily nfl content seahawks fans i apologize this is our first seahawks video in way too long if we could try and get this video to 250 likes that would mean the absolute world to me we're going to be posting a ton of seahawks content for the rest of the summer at the very least i guess it's spring you get the point um they made a lot of big moves last season uh drafting Devon Witherspoon, Devin Witherspoon. I do that every single time. Picking up Julian Love, picking up Jerron Reed, bringing him back to Seattle, picking up Dramont Jones. They're kind of splash signing. Folks, on paper, this defense is loaded. Tremont Jones, Jerron Reed, Leonard Williams. You got Boye Mafi. You got Jerome Baker. You got Tyrell Dodson in Wosu. So underrated. He got injured last season, so he's flying ball up below the radar. Julian Love, Devin Witherspoon, Rashawn Jenkins, Reek Wooen. Uh, their defense is still very good and losing jordan brooks i get it was a big deal uh, but i think what they're doing i saw like the greatest comment the other day from this i don't want to you know just kind of disclose his name but he was saying what they're doing is creating a team based on the talents of the head coach and staff that's exactly what you're seeing right now so you've got guys you know jerome baker's a great example on a one-year seven million dollar contract right if it works you re-sign him you extend him right if it doesn't well now you know you can move forward by the way because of the Leonard Williams trade, the draft's about a month away. Because of the Leonard Williams trade last season, you don't have a second round pick, but you got a couple fourths, you have a couple sixths, and then you've got your first round pick at pick 15. So I'm curious what Seattle's going to do. It wouldn't shock me if they compile a couple of those picks to move up into the second round or the third round uh, to just get more value, get more depth, get more talent, right? Uh, but defensively, man, uh, you know, Seattle last season, it was just kind of underwhelming, right? Because you went 10 and 7 the year prior and you made the playoffs and you were beating San Francisco in the first half. And last year, like a lot of teams, you know, you kind of caught the injury bug and you caught the injury bug at just terrible timing. Uh, but I do think long term, this team is very good. Their defensive line, in my opinion, is absolutely loaded. Dramont Jones, Jerron Reed, Leonard Williams did a phenomenal job. They picked him up on a three year, $64.5 million contract. Uh, but two guys who are really intriguing to me are Jerome Baker and Tyrell Dodson. You know, Tyrell Dodson was an undrafted free agent back in 2019. Uh, but he didn't start, he only started about 10 games with the Buffalo Bills last year, played all of them. 
career high 74 tackles, two and a half sacks, eight total tackles for loss. He's six foot 237, but the dude is so fast. He's got a 4.6 40, and he's going to give you a lot of speed in the middle of the defense. And, um, you know, it kind of reminds me of the Baltimore Ravens, right? So, you know, even if one of these guys hits Jerome Baker, Tyrell Dodson, uh, you're looking really good, and we cannot forget about Nwosu. I think most of just you know non-Seahawks fans barely even know who Nwosu is. He got injured. He only played like six games last season with Seattle. Uh, he's going to turn into a star, in my opinion. If he can play all 17 games this upcoming season, Mike McDonald is going to turn him into a star. Jerome Baker is really interesting to me as well because this is a guy who he played seven season, six seasons, sorry, in Miami. He's entering his seventh season. He's been moved around all throughout the linebacker position. Last season, he did get injured, but he had two total interceptions. He had uh, three total pass deflections, sack and a half, 78 tackles. Uh, we go back to a year like 2020. I guess that's super long ago. Only started in 11 games, two forced fumbles, seven total sacks, 11 quarterback hits, 112 total tackles. I think Mike McDonald with this linebacker room is going to get them playing at a much better rate than a lot of people think. Because, you know, if you just tell a random NFL fan, like, look, the Seahawks lost Bobby Wagner and Jordan Brooks and picked up Jerome Baker and Dodson. Um, it seems a little bit underwhelming, but once again, the big deal for Seattle this offseason was simply hiring Mike McDonald for the long term. The youngest dude, uh, you're set. He's going to, and you know, by the way, even though they have so much talent on the defensive side of things, I still think Seattle this upcoming season, if they stay healthy, I think you're still looking at at least 10 wins. And I think anything under 500, even though it is Mike's first year, I think that would be underwhelming and a disappointment failed season. Uh, but I see Seattle going at least nine and eight. I think they'll go 10 and seven. And if Mike McDonald's get this defense playing at a top 10 level, that's been their issue for the last two seasons. I feel like you're getting back to the old school, you know, 2010, 2012 Seattle Seahawks here. Uh, the secondary has got me licking my chops. Devin Witherspoon, you know, drafted so early in the draft one year ago. Such a talented cornerback. I think in the next couple of years, especially with Mike at the helm running this defense, I think Devin, Win Devin Witherspoon will be a top cornerback in years to come. So it might not be right away, uh, but this defense, once again, long term, and we still have the draft. They're going to be looking really good. Rashawn, Rashawn Jenkins, the dude's a gamer. The dude makes plays. Whatever role he is, he's got five years of starting experience. He has 10 total interceptions in his career, including five picks in the last two seasons. I still remember a year and a half ago watching him take down the Dallas Cowboys uh, with a pick six over on Jacksonville. But we look at this secondary with Devin Witherspoon, Julian Love, Rashawn Jenkins, and Reek Woolen. Uh, you also picked up Kevon Wallace. You still have Kobe Bryant. The defense, guys, it's going to change a lot. And by change, I mean, you know, that 25th total ranked defense last season, that's going to be cut in half, in my opinion. And if that number gets close to top 10 and the Seattle Seahawks offense as loaded as it is, if they keep doing their thing, JSN continues to improve, all their young talent continues to improve, you're set for the foreseeable future. Might not be right away, might take a couple of games, might take a couple of months, but you got your guy in Mike McDonald. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. But most importantly, let me know your thought on the current state of the Seattle Seahawks down below. Peace.